Hi there, guys. Um, again, I'm going to be presenting um, uh, regions of the body, right? And I wanted to uh, mention again that this book, uh, Trail Guide to the Body, is really, uh, I, in my opinion, uh, the most um, accurate um, in terms of um, palpation, in terms of um, um, origin and insertion of muscles. And also because it it's also in um, categorized in a way that's easy to understand. Um, for an anatomy book, I would suggest this to all the students. Um, it had made my uh, studying um, um, easier before. Uh, and now I would like to present this book because it's one of my favorite, okay? And as a manual therapist, um, it's also essential to be fluent in pre- uh, palpatory anatomy. Um, that's why I'm going to be talking about the regional anatomy uh, that I'll be presenting here. First, uh, um, a therapist has to be a, a ver uh, verbal um, and fluent, right? And uh, have that literacy. Because um, if a, um, a therapist doesn't have that, they cannot communicate effectively with other um, healthcare uh, provider. Like, for instance, like, you know, neurologists or doctors, right? We have to have that um, communication and uh, make sure that we have that skill to be able to communicate uh, with all these medical terms. But keep in mind that we're not going to talking to our client uh, with this medical term. So we're going to have to know both. So now we're going to have to talk about the medical terms so that we can communicate. And also that we also have um, to know the visual lit uh, literacy so we can also observe the skin, any topography, any uh, physical uh, imbalance or contours of your clients, right? Third, you also have to have the skills of the of the palpatory. Um, you have to at least um, have that confidence to assess the tissue condition and to provide safe and effective um, manual therapy. And usually um, that is obtained um, with um, um, proper training and skills. That's why, um, you know, for manual therapists, it's really imperative that we know this by heart, really, truly. Why? Because what if you are touching um, um, blood vessels or, for instance, you are uh, touching a vein that is not, you know, or, or lymph nodes? You don't want that, right? It's really important that we know uh, where the arteries are located. We all know where the veins are. And the lip nodes because when if we're treating clients, uh, we need to um, um, make sure that we're not gonna trigger them into something. Um, make sure that we are not harming the clients; that we are there to help them, not to harm them. Okay, I hope that I've established that. Okay, so now we're going to be. Um, I think it's clear. It was clear earlier, so I should have not touched it. Okay. I'm going to do another video. 